Blender is a good open source 3D modeling program. It's good for just about anything. From 3D modeling to animation, this thing does it all. And there's also a program called Daz 3D. Great for making characters, animation, and what we're gonna show you today is how to you know, export from Daz 3D to Blender, and we're gonna use something called Defomorphic. All right, so I'll put a link to this uh, website in the description below, um, but once we get the Defomorphic's website, just click on Daz Importer, and it'll take you to a Bitbucket wiki site. From here, we're gonna see there's three things you can download. The Daz Importer, MHX Runtime System, which is a posing rigging system, and the Diffio HD Exporter. This is for doing uh, HD scenes to Blender. Once there, hit the stable version 1.70, and you'll see you're in a Dropbox website. Just click on the download in the top left to download everything in this Dropbox. Just uh, download, there is no need to sign in, but you can if you want. And once you have it downloaded, just uh, unzip the zip file and we'll get going. As a side note, there are great instructions on this wiki page. I'll link those in the description below as well, so you can follow along with this video. Once you've unzipped the import DAS 1.70, you're gonna see three folders in there. Open the import DAS folder and double click on the 2 DAS Studio. Um, within the 2 DAS Studio folder, you're gonna find a folder that says scripts. We're gonna want to put that in our DAS 3D library. Finding your library in Windows is easy. If you have DAS 3D open, just right click anywhere in your library and say browse to folder location. I recommend going up a level here and taking your DAS 3D library and just copy it to your desktop. Have a shortcut there so you can get to it easy. You'll find the scripts folder within your DAS 3D library and that's where you wanna put the folders from your unzipped file. So here's those diffomorphic script files. We'll just copy and paste those into DAS 3D, and then we will relaunch the program or just hit refresh within your DAS Studio library. Either way, um, you'll see it within your scripts. So let's take a look at that when we open DAS Studio. So you're gonna find that you have under the scripts folder um, all those scripts that you put into DAS Studio. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click the setup menu script and run that within DAS Studio. And what that's gonna do is after you run that script, if you hit the file button, um, you're gonna see that there is a um, DAS to Blender export function um, that is available after running that script. The next thing you wanna do is hit the save pass script and we need to decide where we wanna save our DAS 3D files. So you're gonna be pulling from the same folder in Blender. Um, so you can decide, you can put it in your documents folder within a different morphic folder. I'm just gonna save my root pass in the DAS 3D default folder. And so I'm using the default structure here. So every time I want to import something from DAS to Blender, I'm gonna to have to tell Blender to find that folder, etc. cetera. Um, so choose what's best for you in this scenario. Once you have set up your root pass and you know where you want to save your DAS 3D files, let's just do an example here. Let's just make a quick DAS 3D character. Um, I'm going to import a Genesis 3. We'll put on some clothing for this guy and we will save this as a DAS scene file. So if we hit the file button on top, we're going to say save as, say scene, and I'm just going to call this test and it's going to save in my default uh, DAS 3D folder, which is my root folder. Um, and I'm gonna hit accept here for the scene options. And then I'm going to go back to the file, say export to Blender, and we're gonna save a um, DBZ file in that same folder. And that's the file we're gonna you know, point Blender to when we import into Blender. I have Blender downloaded. I have a great video that I'll also put in the description below on how to get started with Blender. Um, they're at version 3.5 now. I'm using 3.2 and I use a uh, you know a portable version um, just so I can take my Blender with me on a, a portable drive. Um, so uh, for that, I'll just point you guys to a different video I have on my channel. All right, we're in Blender. So the first thing we do is we hit A for all, we hit delete. And then we want to go to preferences, add-ons, and we want to make sure we install the diffomorphic zip file. So we want to lead Blender to that zip file. It's going to find all the plugins, um, including the rigging stuff, the importer, etc. It's going to import all of those at once into Blender. So just lead it to the zip file that we downloaded um, and then click on install add-ons. Once you've done this, just search for DAS importer and then click the checkbox next to the plugin to enable it and then you are good to go to begin using your DAS importer. 
So just hit the N key or hit the little arrow in the top right and you'll see that you have your add-ons menu that pops up and we're gonna see DAS importer there. If we click on that, um, this is our enabled plugin. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to do some setup here. And we're gonna to want to point this plugin to where our DAS Studio files are. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that everything in the top left here is filled in correctly. We're pointing to the libraries, etc. Also be sure to hit load root paths and then locate where you save your Blender files. There's gonna be a .json file there that we're gonna to wanna to select. I also want to find where I directed my DAS 3D to save stuff. There's going to be a file called import DAS paths JSON. You're going to want to click on load root paths and make sure that that's loaded up. Once that is done, we can start importing. We can click on the import DAS button, find where we saved our scene files, find that file, that test file we had, double click on it, and we will have successfully imported something from DAS into Blender, in which case we can start adding cameras, adding animation, doing rigging, etc. Hopefully you found this video helpful for installing Divimorphic for DAS to Blender porting. Uh, any questions, put them in the comments below, and thank you for watching.